anyways, but go, going back to it. So, mm -hmm. look, the, the one part I like how you explained um, – <laughs> the fact that women go through different phases, mm -hmm. so do men. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for myself, I say, okay, I can see some of that stuff making sense to some people, and I totally can see that, meaning how men change once they get married, how mm -hmm. women change once they get married. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, some women are like, well, my man is no longer interested in me like mm -hmm. he used to be. And some men are like, well, you know, my girl's no longer, my woman's no longer interested in me like she used to be, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if, if you don't mind going through the phases we go through. So when I'm 18 years old, I'm in the Army, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what do you have on, you know, there's only one thing on your mind, right? Oh, yeah. That's reading a lot yeah. of business books. I mean, obviously, <laughs> the only thing on my mind Clearly. is I want to yes. yeah, read business books, <laughs> math analysis, trigonometry. Right. That was a main yeah outcome of my life at that time. I'm lifting weights, I'm fired up, I got a lot of testosterone, we're running a bunch of miles every day, mm -hmm. and somehow, somewhere you gotta release it. So 18 to whatever age, mm -hmm. then you get to a point, you look at the market and you say, okay, that girl chose that guy over me? What the hell are we talking about here? Mm -hmm. That guy is a schmuck, but he's making money and he's gonna get over me? This doesn't make any sense. And I don't even like his attitude. He's mm -hmm. like so, you know, so you're like, okay, let me go try to see compete in a different way. Then you go maybe a little bit more into career. You get focused. And mm -hmm. if you do it early on, you have the ability to win. But what phases do men go through? And if you can mm -hmm. kind of go all the way through to maybe 50. Sure. And what phases do women go through? I'd be really curious Okay, well, to know. It's, it's actually easier for me to start with women because I wrote, I wrote, the second book is exactly yeah. about that. I, uh, I pegged it as at a timeline. Now, there is a very famous graph that I uh, published way back in like 2013 or 2014 it's a it's two bell curves. It's when women are at their peak of their sexual market value versus when men are at the peak of their sexual market value. And in in many different ways, men and women do not mature at the same rate. OK, even when it comes to like puberty, when it comes to, you know, like girls mature a lot faster than boys do. And they get to a point where they're they're uh, Is that what you're what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's the one I'm can talking about. Right David, there. So they can yeah, see it. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. We're listening. So I, and I, you know, I'll tell you, it's funny is when I was writing the essay where I put that out there, I was like, this is like. In, kind of instinctive to me. And then a lot of people ran me up the flagpole for, for putting this one out there. And then over the course of the last, say, like almost 10 years now, there's been so many data sets and so many so much research that backs this up. And I, I almost get chills thinking how accurate it was when I was writing it. But what the, where I peg women as far as their, the, their peak sexual market value is right around 22 or 23 years old. That's when men find women the most attractive across the board. 23, 24. 23, okay. 24, right, about, right around there. So 15 all the way up to 95, that's the age at which men find women the most attractive. For, for women, finding men attractive, it staggers. So statistically speaking, women find men three to seven years older than they are as more attractive. Now, there's a difference between arousal and attraction. And a lot of people sort of mistake yeah. this. If you ask a woman, what do you find attractive in a man? She's going to tell you all these long-term security you know, traits that a guy has to have. You say, what do you find arousal? What gets you hot about a guy? Uh, let's see. He's got to have, you know, V taper. He's got to have, you know, tw you know, 26 inch guns. He's got to have six pack abs. He's got to have, you know, a uh, chiseled jawline. That's, that's a difference. So, um, when men get to be about 36 years old is when I peg them at being their at their sexual market value peak because that is assuming the man makes the most of his potential, mm -hmm. is you know developing himself, becoming something, uh, lives up to his burden of performance. Let's just say at 36 to 37 somewhere in there, that's when he starts hitting his stride. That's the point at which he has the potential to have the most of what makes him the most attractive to women overall. So if you stay on your game, you're working out and you're on top of your business and you are on, you know, you have ambition, you have confidence. A lot of that takes a lot longer for men to develop than it does for women to get to their point of, of, of sexual, you know, marketability. And so. Uh, one of the things we always talk about in sort of the manosphere or the red pill communities is that men must become and women just are. So when women get to the point where it's like they're at 23, that's when men want them the most. So that's that's number one. Men must become, become and women just women are. Just are. Huh. So, because so, so does that mean, just to stay on that, mm -hmm. and I'm, I want you to continue, so mm -hmm. does that mean uh, 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 
for a man to increase the market value, wait till a 30, 36, 37? I don't think that's what you're saying either. No, no, no. But I'm saying that that's going to be the point at which you will have the potential to have the most of what will make you the most attractive And that's based at on that what? Time. That's based on what? Well, based on, 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 on physicality. Also, okay. the fact that women want a man who's older. I think uh, on an instinctive level, women want a guy who has the, uh, more maturity, has more of a capability or proven capability to be the winner that they want to get with. Well, those guys don't tend to be part of their own peer group. They tend to be the guys who ha who are more mature because they have had longer yeah. to, I don't know, become partner at the you know law firm or get become a surgeon or whatever it is that they find as sort of you know, status wise as high value but also um, to stay on top of their game, build themselves up and have a better judge of character. There's a lot of things. Like if you look at the prerequisites that women have on the most common dating sites, it is this laundry list of, he's gotta be funny, he's gotta be hot, he's gotta love his mom, he's gotta like puppies, he's gotta want kids, he's gotta he got, you know, have ambition, he's gotta be confident, and just on and on and on and on. For men, it's, she's gotta be hot, she's gotta be available. That's pretty, <laughs> mu that's pretty much it. And so when you go and you look at the this, uh, it's almost like filling out a, a job application mm -hmm. when you're going on, say, like, you know, Tinder, when well, I have Tinder so much, but like, you know, an, an online dating, which is the number one way that men and women find each other today and start, you know, start mm -hmm. dating. So when you have that as sort of the prerequisite, well, women understand that it takes longer for men to develop into what's going to make them the most attractive and to mature into that. And as a result, that has to coincide with what they're going through. So when, women, when a woman is between, say, 18 and 28 years old, that's her peak window to find the guy that has the most of what she's going to need in the future. So if you look at it this way, a woman between 18 and 28 years old, she's got about a 10 year window there to secure what she's going to need as long term security for the rest of her life. So that's a that's a lot of uh, especially today that's a lot of stress yeah. on on women right now to find that guy. Yeah. So would it not stand to reason that they're going to look for a guy who is already a winner, a turnkey relationship where she can go and say, "Oh, you make a lot of money. You've done a lot with yourself. Um, yeah, I'm I'm ready to you know ride or die with you." Or she's going to have to look for a guy who has the potential to mm -hmm. become that guy when he's 36, 37 years old at his peak. So women will go through that, the phase of what I call it, you know, I call it the party years. I was just saying that it was, it's the, it's the point at which women are sort of like, they have the most sexual selectivity during those years. Other people will call it the hoe phase. Not my words, their words. Yeah. Um, and then they'll get to a point where it's uh, 29 to about 31 years old, which is what I call the epiphany phase. And that's when women go, I'm done with the jerks. I don't want to. I don't want to have that anymore. I want to do things right. I want to get right with God. I want to have a right relationship. And unfortunately, in our, our Western society right now, that's often too late for women. At 30, 31, 29, 30, 30, 30, 30, Well, yeah. not I'm not saying necessarily it's the wall. Like they don't look good anymore. Yeah. They do. The wall. When we talk about the wall, the wall doesn't begin here. It begins up here. It's acknowledging that they are not as sexually competitive in the sexual marketplace at 33 as they were when they were 23. You think that and applies that still to today? With, with all Absolutely. the, with all the uh, 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 what do you call it, you know? Plastic surgery, yeah. you're saying? With all the well, you, oh yeah, there's ways do. to forestall that for right, sure. Right, right. Yeah. But you're saying at 33, that's 30, uh, 29 or 31, that's the age. Well, the the for most women, their 33-year-old self could not compete on the same level in the sexual marketplace as her 23-year-old self. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.